my OG, OG Mitchie Slick in the building. Clack, oh clack. God. Come What's on, up, man. Hey, bro? Yeah, you already that. know. Come on, man. So th- this is this is a long time coming, man. This is long overdue, us just really just sitting down for to, to let everybody see it. <laughs> it's, 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 homie, it's homie shit going on. Yeah, man. yeah. Where people are like, obviously, <laughs> we, we grew up in the same turf right. uh, in southeast San Diego. Uh, they be acting like they don't know, homie. Yeah, hey, from from Bay Vista to 47th and Logan to Imperial all to that, all that, man. Come on, man. <laughs> like, all of that. And, like, really just really chopping it up on some big homie stuff, man. You always giving me advice, looked out for me over the years. And just even as you had your own movement going, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And, and it's one of those things to, to know that you, we don't got to do it for the cameras. We ain't got to get out here and always let people know, you know, oh, he from here, he doing this, or he doing that. It's just really two young black kings moving the way they move and respecting each other's movement. And you, every time, you know, from from being a youngster till today, you just always kept it solid. And then always had your business intact for from your solo movements, from moving all, like I done moved with you all across this country. Right. And everywhere you go, it's 10 toes down, super respected, su- super official uh, from the, you know, strong arm steady to your own stuff, man, like, how do you keep it so solid? Bro, listen, I understand what it takes for us to be successful in San Diego, homie. And yeah. it's something that we lacking in Dago, bro. Yeah. And that's a support, bro, for one another, homie. Yeah, that's real. And, and, and me knowing that, you know, my pops had a band, homie, back in the in the 80s, bro. Wow. And he laced me up on a lot of things in the way our city runs the way it runs. And I know that I got to support my cast that's really doing their things from, from the town. Yeah. Like, I'm not supporting everybody from the town. <laughs> right. If you're not dope, I'm not supporting that. But yeah. if you dope, we need to put that 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 other stuff that we got uh, in the town aside. Yeah. And then that's where I come being so supportive of you and anybody else is doing their thing. But yeah. we got to be that because... Yeah, and as you say, like, man, it's a lot of it's a lot of triv that goes on. Triv. <laughs> Definition. Triv. Triv. Short for trivial. <laughs> trivial situation. Yeah, yeah. That's it's, Southeast Dago terminology, right? Homie? Yeah, it's a lot that goes on, but and and even the fact that even San Diego don't really get the respect that it get, that it really should, whether it being part of the West Coast movement in hip hop. That's or, a lot of our fault, though, bro. Yeah. And it, but and even this on like when people hear San Diego, you know, especially coming up, moving around, people be like, oh, you grew up in, in around surfboards. That's and crazy, sea bro. World. That's and, crazy because now, bro, it's kind of like that's if you're not in the life. But if you in the streets, everybody across the country in the streets know what's up with Dago in the streets. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's like man, it's like the lack of um knowledge of how the industry really works, bro. Yeah, is what's killing Dago. Right, and so that's the reason why I'm just letting the young homies know, like, bro, it's about making connections. Like all this time, I know all the DJs up here, but the only time I, I've been in this building, yeah, this building here is when I was with my LA partners, which right. is Strong Arm Steady. Right. To come in here, Dolo, it took my bro being up in the building. Right, you know right. What I'm Real I mean, facts. I mean, you know, and that's what it is, homie. So we got to support that, homie. And I mean, and you've been doing it for a minute, obviously from the streets to the music and then really on your own like the definition of independent and everyone oh from, from from it's not a good it's not it's not a fun thing bro. <laughs> believe me but but Everybody doing it on your own putting your own bag to it yeah and and, and putting plays together by Coming yourself from Dago, you got to right because you know you got to figure man that the industry bro yeah, yeah they, you, you're gonna hear different stuff when you interview mitchy slick right because i i know the other side not this you know not the so <laughs> beautiful part of this, bro. Right. The thing is, bro, it's like, it's a fraternity, homie. Yeah, yeah. You got to be a part of the in crowd. And being from San Diego, we're going to be the stepbrothers, bro, because yeah. due to the fact that the, the, the bag is in L.A. Right. So you figure every hood in L.A. ain't even being able to get to you know, you think L.A. is popping out. Think it's a it's a hundred hoods in in L.A. that hasn't produced a star. Right. Nah, that's true. So you figure if the bag is up here, that's how I got to explain to the young homies all the time. Okay, all the labels and all the companies be in L.A. I mean, imagine if they was downtown San Diego. Right, right. Imagine if some Inglewood company <laughs> was trying to get to the office where the stuff was at and right. the building was in San Diego. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. L.A. cats don't really understand how fortunate they are to have the industry right here. You know right. what I mean? Nah, that's real. In so many ways, even in ways like where if you from San Diego... You might be a dope artist, but the chances of your homeboy or your cat down the street being a dope videographer and a dope uh, manager or a dope whatever, that's that's not as 
You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, cats nah, don't really that, understand that. Yeah. You sir. know, like if and you, proximity. If you're from LA, uh, LA top whatever hip hop website. Yeah, yeah. That means a lot. Yeah, yeah. LA top underground. That's different than San Diego top right, underground. Right. So you actually are important just being an underground artist in this environment. Right. Because it's more cracking. Right. With the writers, with the r- underground radio shows, with the. So you how do me? we turn Dago up? How See? do we get, because it's a whole city, like Drake put on Toronto. Right. Uh, there, There's so many cities that are, people come from different places where it wasn't turned until they had that artist that pop. And because Dago is so certified, it's real in these streets, it's, it's, it's real when it comes to the talent, but ain't nobody really flip the switch. I know people look to me all the time, like, why you don't put, like, yo, I done, try, I done signed mad people from Dago, but... We ain't turned it on yet. Well, you asked me the question. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. You gotta put the right people in the position. And at the end of the day, bro, it's a street business. Right. So facts. if you got somebody that got respect in the streets and that's dope in the streets, then you gotta build off of that foundation. And I see a lot of homies get opportunities in San Diego, and they don't really know the industry. Mm. Like you gotta know the industry. You gotta know that you can't just go to Detroit. <laughs> right. With you and four of your 20 year old homies <laughs> right you you can't do that facts and facts. you got a big homie in the town that actually went to detroit not on no rap shit i've been in detroit in the streets yeah i've been in atlanta in the street streets shit. yeah so therefore it's like a cold war situation yeah you go to atlanta you pop in you icy you all this yeah. shit. you 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 can't you move got goon- you- oh i need to take my goons but like what you want to take your goons and have a shootout in the <laughs> damn what in somebody else it? city no <laughs> you be able to call the big homie make yeah. that phone call yeah hey whoop so-and-so coming down with whoop and they're going to embrace that Let's Let's, now let's talk about me? that for a second, like code, street code, the right. ethics, because uh, we all know you really fun- from it in a real way. But how does that transition, because you, you're speaking on it now, how does that transition go from, because now you're in a boss position. You know, somebody want to call, come to Dago, or that somebody want to move around. And you Like, you one of those phone calls that people make to. Like, when I talk to everybody from from 40 to, to, to game to, you know, even Nip, R.I.P., like it was, they always spoke super highly of you. And that was their connection to me. I was like, oh, yeah, I know Slick, da 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 We pulled, and I'm like, yo, that just knowing your name was ringing bells everywhere I was going, just like, no, that's, like you said, that credibility. How, does, that how do you from- manage that? And then how do you keep that intact? Because how do you keep the streets intact? Well, the thing is like this. No matter what, you just got to be respectful everywhere yeah, you go. Right. And so I don't think people really understand the tap-in or the check-in. Right. You know, the check-in, the tap-in. It's like, you figure. If you, if you, see, I speak on San Diego. Okay. Yeah. You figure. If you got a, a, a artist coming to town and they spending 50, 50 grand to have this artist come to town. Right, right. right. And they come in, he, he's an artist and... When I see him everywhere, he shake my hand, he dap me up, he say he my brother yeah, and all that. Facts. Then he slide into the town. Right. He go do a deal with the with the with, with the promoter. The promoter is yeah, yeah. that's not from where we from. Right. That we don't even know. Right. They barely let us get in the club <laughs> into the in club. Sandy, right, right, right. Now, when I say us, I don't mean Mitchy Slick. Nah, I do, about but the I black mean folks. The, the brother, you know, the homies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then. You come to the town, you you get all the lavish things that San Diego got to bring you because everybody loves coming to San Diego. Facts. If ain't for nothing else but our our uh, uh, generous, <laughs> yeah, our festivities, our, fest- our generous <laughs> our, women, our adorers, whatever it is. You feel me? They love to come to the town. Right. So here you come, somebody come to the town, somebody that don't know you, don't know, just some middleman make five thousand and he make ten thousand and and then you come to the town and you don't do no verses for the homies or yeah. nothing. And you just come use our, utilize our town and then you skate out of town. Yeah. What well, the thing is, is that you don't do that in A. You yeah. don't do that in, in, in LA. Right. You don't do that in Detroit. In, any of these places, right. that's just a respect thing, bro. Right. It's like, you know, you're doing business with the bros. Right, right. And so that's, that's kind of what it's that's about. That's that check-in. That's that tap-in. That's the tap-in. Right. check-in is the, tap-in is when you're- like Just letting you know I'm pulling up. Listen, tap in is when I'm hitting my homies from that town. Yeah, yeah. Check in is where, okay, I don't have no homies, homies in that, that town, <laughs> and I need to holler at somebody right, so that right. I don't get my jury taken right, right. and get posterized. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Because you can't get posterized in Dago. Oh. It's been some posterization. <laughs> it's been some posterization in the town. Absolutely. Yeah, but you know. 
you hear the the yeah. tales of Mitchie Slick. We we done seen all of the the interviews and all that. But what is it that you want people to know about Mitchie Slick? Whether it's from your past, whether it's about your music journey, whether it's about the boss that you are at this level. Like at the end of the day, what's a misconception about Slick? And then what's something that you like? Yo, if if I had that opportunity, to just let everybody know this. This is what it is. That's a big question, homie. So I might gotta break that. Yeah, down yeah. But as far as right now, that I'm focused now is just being at this point is being um somebody that um that's been known for good music business. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right now, that's what I would want people to know. Right now, yeah. If I could go back, I think a lot of things I, I would want people to know who I really am as an artist because really, bro, I always looked at myself like I'm supposed to be with the greats, bro. For real though, right? As far as far as um. The, the music and yeah. the story behind Mitch. Yeah. My story's stupid, bro. It's crazy. I got a Tupac ass story. Uh, you trust know what me, I, mean? I know. Uh, and, and the world doesn't know. You know what I mean? And we got to help get that story told. That's even why we sitting here having this conversation to this day because I think if people do their research and understand all that you've been through and the fact that you still here on the grind. That they would just be at, at all that I'm even here today, yeah. bro, and even alive today. Yeah. You know what I mean? All the people that I've dealt with and moved with yeah. from, from here to there. You know what I'm saying? From... And always been certified. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, and so that's what I, I kind of would want the world to actually be able to see what I've been building all these years. Right. So that's part of the reason why I, I still got to make sure that my, my, my city get its light. Yeah. And that's why we, we be chopping it. Absolutely. So I, I'm passing that torch to the young homies because even at now, even if it's about some little young cats, you know, if that's what it is, then I'm gonna bring my my co- my cracking this little homie yeah. and get down like me, so they could still see what we what we, what we built in the town on you know the what boss saying? level. Yeah. yeah, it's just it was just the plugs, bro. It was just San Diego not having the access to all the perks. We yeah. don't we don't have the access to the perks. We can't all depend on Nick. Right, right. I, I right. ain't gonna I ain't gonna say I I wouldn't want Nick to do a couple <laughs> more things with Slick <laughs> here and there, but but he get out with me. We just did a movie. We Slick. just did a movie. We just did videos, but I need more. <laughs> Nah, that's love. That's my big no, homie. No, Whatever you need, it's, they gotta it's an know. easy call. You can't expect one person to do everything. Everybody got to do their part, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, but like being in San Diego, everybody got to understand, like, we need, you can't be one person popping. Yeah, yeah. No town got, no artist really got popping just off of one person. one person. It take you being able to feature this cat and that cat that got that side of town and that cat that got that side a of town. The whole movement. Yeah, but everybody got to be dope, too, though. And like bro. you said, everybody got to be certified. Everybody and that's what you certified. bring to the table of being somebody as a fixture in the streets that can say, yo, it, it, our culture is dictated by the streets, so you need somebody from the streets that actually can move around and See, get down. See, that's it right there. And yeah. San Diego got to understand that. San Diego want to tiptoe through everything and all the artists want to be nice. And, this hip-hop, this ain't nice. This, yeah, ain't, this ain't nice game. Real you talk. You get on tour thinking it's nice and thinking it's cool. Yeah, it ain't and, sweet. And, 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 and little, little tight pants, twiddly dude, purple hair, <laughs> really got some real killers yeah, with him. Yeah. Two and from his walking town. with a real stick. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he ain't slipping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and San Diego, I understand, you got to bring everybody together, bro. You got to move like that. You got to move like that. And speaking bro. of moving like that, we get into the firing squad real quick yeah. with my big homie. Quick questions. I know you. it ain't nothing to you. You shoot I, it I, from the hip all the time. All so, day. loved or feared? Uh, I would have to say feared. Real talk. Not that I'm not loved. Yeah. But just... Fear comes with respect. Just the image that a lot of, you know, a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of things have been portrayed as. So yeah. Make people like, when I think of the labels, when I think of, I think like a lot of these years, they probably was a little scared of Slick. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it was no Hollywood shit going on. Yeah, in San Diego. yeah. If you saw, you didn't get to see the gangster rapper with the model. Like, nah, you, nah. Like yeah, you rapper. can see that. Yeah, nah. See, they go, kinda, he's a gangster. They go gangster. gangster. And I kind of got stuck to where they think like, you know, Mitchie Slick. Gang banger blood, not yeah, yeah. slick prayer view you and you know university. <laughs> right. I, I did that too. Yeah, like people me? don't know you prayer went from gang banger to uh, HBCU. Come on, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Was out there with all the fraternities and all that, getting a full Cali bar. <laughs> I wasn't fitting in really, but <laughs> I got to check it out. You yeah, know yeah, me? yeah. absolutely. I did, my, I did my shit. There it is. All right, so Mitchie Slick's greatest fear. Um Bro, being forgotten, bro. Mm. Like, you know, check it out. You know what hurt me, bro? When I watched, like, um, you know, like Cadillac Records? Yeah. You know how popping they was, bro? Right. And for... Now nobody... Right they, now, they... today, just think, imagine, bro. That yeah. wasn't like that was fucking 1,700 years yeah. ago. Yeah, that's real that tough. That was 
30, 40 years ago, bro. Right, right, right. And these were the artists that was t they, they impact the was, fixtures. Was like Beyonce and J Jay Z, bro. Back then, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And now nobody even know. I don't even know who they were, bro. Yeah, yeah. S shit like that, bro. Like, nah. like for so, nothing. So you ain't gonna let that nothing? happen. Nah, we can't. Let they gotta let slick story be told. I gotta have a statue of me in front of Bay Vista. There it is. <laughs> Real talk. Yeah, That's man. where it's at. Now, speaking of uh, movies and stories being told, what's your favorite movie of all time? I I'm a buff, bro. Yeah. So I got a few, homie. All right, go for it. Um, cause I can't say one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitchy Slick list gonna go something like, um, Bad Boys. Okay, I'm rocking with you. Yeah. Not Martin Bad Boys. <laughs> oh, you talking about the Sean Penn Bad, Bad Boys. Boys. Yeah. Oh, wow. You went hey, there. That hey, shit was ill. Hey, hey, um, Outsiders. Oh, that was cold. Warriors. Warriors. Oh, so you, you like the, uh, the the white gang movies. Hold on. I'm not done. No, I'm moving up. I'm moving up. Yeah. I'm moving up. Uh, uh. Just aesthetically, homie. I know people say what they say, homie, but I really like Belly, bro. Belly was the shit. Bro, they really went to the, yeah. Jamaica, bro. Yeah. It was all real D-boys and all hitters yeah. over there that was in that flick, bro. Yeah, real you talk. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's real shit. And um, I'm going to say one more. And then oh, yeah, got it. Let me think. which Because I got a million of them. Um, let me give you one more. Um, 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 oh, 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 oh. All oh, right. Uh, 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 uh. Was it... um? Ah, was it Bugsy Malone? Oh, yeah. Bugsy Ooh. Malone? Yeah, Warren Beatty. He killed Big that, that, man, that Bugsy hey, that was, was so... Hard. Yeah, that motherfucker built Vegas. Bro, that's what one made, made... No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. I got to I gotta remember the one. We'll come back to it, homie. But yeah. I, I got a few... A few crazy yeah, but that Bugsy ones. shit was ill, too. All right, yeah. so we... you I never heard you speak on this. We huh. we talk top five all yeah. the time. Right. What's Mitchie Slick's top five? Inspiration. It ain't got to be the greatest or any of that. Like, your top five MCs in the game. Even if you keep it all West Coast, because I feel like cats don't show us the, the love out here. But, like, if you had to say these are the top five rappers that For inspired me, me. For you. That inspired me. Not yeah. the top five best rappers. Top five that inspired me. Yeah. Or you could go top five best. Let's go inspired. Okay. Fody. I always say that. Fody. Off top. Fody. Master P. Ooh, okay. You feel me? Yeah. This is artists that came from the streets that actually sold records based off the credibility of the the life that they really lived. Facts. So therefore, that's the reason why I respect Real them guys. like that. You feel me though? And then you flipped it and diversified it. You feel me? These are all bosses though. You feel me though? Yeah. Okay. Then um, I can't I can't hate on it, homie. I got to keep it one hundred. My gangsterism. I get the gangsterism from MCA, homie. Ooh. You feel me? That's a different one. That was Confidence the first, that was the first wanted, rapper yeah. that I felt like really was selling crack before he said to rap. Right. At that time. Right, right. Cuban and was dope. I love Cube. Right. I love Pac. But I kind of veered more towards uh hey. the, the street rappers. And the storytelling. Like, like, like Cole 187. Ooh. You feel me, though? Yeah. You feel me? Nah, when you was you was really listening to it, you was really tapped in. They were talking the rappers real language. Rappers that actually ended up going to the feds later on in their <laughs> rap careers. Like right? You feel me? Though? Yeah. Nah, that's real. So hey, keeping it all the way real. Yeah. We had a uh, boss level situation right now. Real you don't you don't went from the streets. You don't went uh, to the to being an artist, and now you are a boss putting other people on. Right. We talking about cash from Dago. Who and, and I'm making a slight introduction. I want to say who you think deserves a shot that's popping from Dago, and then you brought somebody here with you that's one of those guys. So what got Dago buzzing right now? Man, the crazy part about Dago, bro, is I'm not knocking my generation of rap. Yeah, in San Diego, but it was only like a few rappers in San Diego that I felt that could compete with the other. See the way I like everybody. Oh, Dago got so much talent. Oh, my city got this so much talent. Oh yeah. Okay, let's have an all-star game. Right, <laughs> right. Okay, this weekend, fellas, we play Atlanta. Right. <laughs> we pick our top five, and we got to play against... Yo, top five. We got to play against Atlanta top five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we really... Oh, so we got to play against who? We got to play against Lil Baby. <laughs> right. who you gonna all get the stick, amigos. Who you going to get the stick off it? <laughs> who you going to get the stick? Uh, future. 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 So, like, shut the... F <laughs> right, all right, right. All right. 
So that's how I look at it. But right now... But that's what I'm saying. There's cats out there that I feel like are going to be global superstars yeah. and been through, got stories like Ryan Bowers. Right. Little Ryan homie. Dope. He done been through some shit. And just, even if he didn't go through the shit that he went through... He's a real talent, He's bro. a real talent. He's a real talent. Ryan Anthony. Real talent. Me you and know Ryan got, got that, that... Come on. Ryan Anthony is, is at a level From producer, to songwriter. That boy know how to make a hit record. Only thing is... In San Diego, we just haven't had the rest of the things that springboard that. But that's what we building right now. Right, I'm saying, shoot, I, I, put, I put a whole bag on that but damn you, you tour. You did that. You did that. You did <laughs> that. See, went around but, the world. See, you just needed Slick to be right there to a and the situation. I thought you, you was there. Yeah, no, I wasn't on tour on the road with you, nigga. If you'd have had me there, I'd have had him in knuckleheads and headlines. No, that, hey, we definitely need that. And speaking of Slick being in position, hey, who you brought with you today, listen, man? Listen, man, shout out, man. Listen, man, I have been trying to put so many artists, homie, to the forefront thanks to these relationships that I've built that I never had coming up in the industry, homie. Yeah. We never had the opportunity to deal with people that could push buttons and take the artist and put him here. Artists think I put my song on SoundCloud, Instagram, my promo, and I blow up. It's it don't people, work like it's, that. It does not work like that. It's got to be the plug. It's got to be somebody to allow you to come in and, and let you have access to these other things, these right. playlists, these PR situations. Real talk. The homies, Strong Arm Steady Gang, y'all, was a was a community of MCs that we put together, Shouts bro. out to Exhibit. Cron Down. Cron Down. My brother Chase Inf Infinite. Yeah. DJ Khalil. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh. Hip -hop the far generous. ride, yeah, come the on, far ride. feel Real the talk. agony. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This was a crew that we put together, but from that crew spawned a bunch of dope industry cats, bro. Not yeah. only artists, but producers and videographers and, yeah. and and managers. And one of those situations broke off to being by way of Picasso and the homie TK R Baron, yeah, yeah, which is the same company that's doing their thing with Shoreline, Shoreline Mafia, Mafia, Greedo, Sada Baby. Uh, uh, one take, yeah, you know, chike, yeah, and through that relationship, these relationships I'm talking about, yeah, they they gave me a portal, bro. That's what's up. And they said, bro, who you got, slick? And I brought a bunch of artists to the forefront, yeah. And at that time, due to what was going on, the little homie had had relationships with some of the artists up here already, and it it organically turned into Bad Damon right now. Yeah. I got Baby Slick. I got Skywalker. I got a bunch of other artists. I got Eddie Mac. But right now, for the timing, we got Bad Damon, and we finna run Bad yeah. Damon through the pipeline. Let's he do here. it. Let's go get Bad Damon in the building. What's up? What's, up? What's good? What's good, my guy? Man, so we done chopped it up before, and it's, it's good to see you here. Uh, man, Dago, putting on for, for the town. Tell me about it. Man, San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> You see how we both, we all rub our hands when we start, bro, because we, we feel like we ready, right? We've been doing it, bro. It's just a yeah. situation. Adjust your mic. Adjust yeah, your, uh, yeah. First and foremost, man, shout out San Diego. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Mitchie Slick. Shout out Nick Cannon. Yeah. Shout out Reggie Bush. Shout out a couple of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Facts, right, facts, facts. But uh, San Diego, man, I love it, man. It's like a love-hate relationship with San Diego. You right, know? right. Because do we feel like we get the support we supposed to get from, from the city or... Or uh, is it is how, uh, how do we how do light, we go light, baby, bro? I know we talk about this all the time. San Diego, we uh, want to we want to rep for the town. Man, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm a, I'm just going I'm just going to break it down. I'm just going to break down it just oh, real yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. San Diego is if you Google it, we're like seven percent black in the city. Right, right. Seven percent black, and and unless you're from the city, you don't understand how the communities. These is like old school communities that's been beefing. Yeah. For, 30 um, years, 20 years, you know? It's Since certain areas people, I still yeah. can't go to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like, I, I feel for a solidified movement to go, it's like at least the 6%, 7% of black people in Gotta San come Diego together. Gotta come together, but... That's a it real be, message right there, yeah, King. It's the, like it's, that, that's real. Like put all the bullshit aside and just support each other yeah, so we can at build. At least as much as the brown, cause the brown and the black, homie, it's, it's love. There. It's so much it's love, love there. homie. Black and brown got love. Black and brown love each other more than yeah. Black real black. talk. That's real talk. And Dago, shouts out to all my Mexican partners. Come in on, Dago. man. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm half Mexican. Homie. Then likewise, likewise. You know how we <laughs> move. So so let's talk about the music for a second, man. What's uh, the project? What's the, what's on uh, the horizon? You done connected with. With the Shoreline Mafia squad, all of that, and then and then you you giving it to them from the streets. Yeah, uh, well, right now I got I got a mixtape coming out called uh, New Pressure. Yeah, you know I got to get apply with that. Man. Yeah, <laughs> the New Pressure. You know yeah. some pressure that America ain't felt yet. They ain't felt San Diego pressure. You yeah, know? yeah. You know we got top top athletes, top Facts. women. Facts. 
Top, we got some good top rappers. real estate. Yeah. Top real estate. Yeah. We got a lot of Most stuff. Most expensive so. ever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a, uh, I'm just gonna apply some new pressure. You know, it's gonna yeah. come from a different direction. And uh, give them all your handles. Where can they find you? All uh, that stuff. Man, it's bad Damon underscore B A D D A M O N underscore on Instagram, and you could do bad Damon B A D. D A M O N one on Twitter, and then you got the big homie certifying you, giving you that stamp. How's that feel, man? Uh, if honestly, if it, it feel good, but I, I I say this because it's like me and Slick came together like it's before rap, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like you know, he he really the big homie from my neighborhood, and I'm right. really one of the ones from the neighborhood for the young people. So it's yeah. like I've been knowing about Slick, and my big my big brother is like his little brother, you know? Yeah. So. It was, you know, it's, it's it's real organic, you know, yeah, and it go it go far past this. So you yeah. know, inshallah, God willing that they this could come together, we could do it big on this level too. So and we gonna keep doing it big, rapping for the town, man. Nothing but success. You got you got a real one watching over you, so I know it's gonna go all the way where it need to go. Yeah, God willing. There it is. It's been close conversations, up close and personal, with my OG, Mitchie Slick, Bad Damon. We all up in here. Let's get it. Hey, Nick Cannon mornings. <laughs>